Hey y'all, it's Katie Jackson with Pirate Media, and today is the Pirates against the Azel Hornets. We have about 37 minutes left in the first half, just started, and right now it's just 0-0. Zero to zero. Azel's ball. Down on their scoring end. Based off of past games, we have a have a good chance or a good feeling that you know our offense will be good. Hopefully, I mean so far they have I think twelve shots made, and ours is like twenty two. So I think we have a good shot chance at making some good shots today. Got a goal kick. Our ball. And it's clear.
30 minutes and 10 seconds left in the game, still 0-0. Zero to zero. Down on our scoring in. Is that Weston? Yeah, I cannot see. Cranberry quarter kick. Will they make it? They run for the ball. Azel gets. Azel goes down. Fighting for the ball. Shot it to Cranberry. Azel passes it back, and we're going down the field. Cranberry's ball down by the 20 yard line. <laughs> Out of bounds and in the stands. Really using their heads there, Azel gets the ball, finding it with Grammar. There's Pete with the ball, lost it. Good fight with, ooh, that was a pull. <laughs> Free kick taken by 14 on Azel. Corner kick from Azel Hornets. 27 minutes left in the game, still 0-0. Zero zero. Cranberry gets the ball, run it down the field. Cranberry kicks it high up into the air, really taking it out. Drake with the header. He's one of our seniors of the night. Azel gets the ball. There's Trevor Granger fighting for the ball on the left side. Cranberry gets the ball, sending it right down the field. Azel gets it back and blocks Weston by the was fighting for that one, though. <laughs> Double header straight to the goalie. Granberry has possession of the ball, bringing it down. 
There's Pete with the ball. One was a little hesitant on that one. Ava's got some good control on the ball, though. Crowd's really going at it. Some gold. 24 minutes left, and Azel is one up. Weston looks like the kicker for right now. Looks like Pete's getting subbed out. Technical difficulties with the scoreboard, it looks like. <laughs> Granberry number six, great pass, but didn't connect very well. Goal kick by Azel. Hazel kicks it all the way down to the 45 mark. Let's go, Weston. Bringing it down. Let's see. Ooh, so close. And the Great crowd goes wild. Great assist. Twenty-three thirty-eight, and we're tied one to one. So far, it looks like it's going to be a good game if it keeps going like this. Corner kick by Azel. Looks like number 14. Azel takes control. Out on purple. Seventeen with the throw in on Azel. Over right the over the top of the net. Really fighting for that ball.
Good save by Granberry. That dude had a big, like a long line. <laughs> Kick from the right corner. Our goalie is one of our seniors for the night. If you weren't aware, tonight is senior night for the Pirate Soccer. Weston with the ball bringing it up. Ryan Davila got the ball. Let's see. Barely missed it. Granberry's ball. <laughs> Granberry number 25, throwing it in. Weston holding the ball, passed it to 21. 17 gets the ball. Bringing it down. Trevor Granger with the ball, bringing it down. Ryan Davila fighting for it. Eighteen minutes left. You know, so far, honestly, it seems pretty even, like it's pretty level playing field. Nobody overpowers the other. Azel definitely has some good ball control, though. Azel's ball, throw in about 15 yard line. Weston with the hitter, header. And Azel's got control of the ball again. Munn with the pass to Weston, bringing it up. Can he score another one? 17.05 with 2-1 to one right now.
you know, they actually have a ball that whoever, like, scores, they get to sign it. And so they have, like, a man of the match. So, and I, Weston's got, I think, three or four balls, like, got to sign it three or four times. And then whoever, whoever, like, has the most signatures at the end of the year, like, the end of the season, they get to keep the ball. Because it's like, they're the MVP of their little tournament. Yeah. It's got to be a proud thing to win. Oh, yeah. Which Weston actually got to sign for their first district game. They just played against Brewer. Um, they played at the Brewer Stadium, and they ended up, they lost 2-1, to one, but Weston got the one goal that we had, so he was the man of the match for that game. Really picking up the team. No kidding. Sad to see him gone next year, though. Yeah. Because he is one of the seniors for the night. Big shoes to fill. They got a lot of seniors that they're going to have to fill in. Azel's ball. Out on purple. Missed header by Azel. They're really fighting for it in that box, though. Oh. Hard slam there. No kidding. Corner of the goal, left hand side. Kick straight down the middle and. Pirates have the ball. Good kick. Weston got it. Davila with the ball, passing it to, I think that's 18, 19. Nice save by Azel's goalie. Fourteen thirty left in the first half, still two to one. Drake with the ball passes it to Trevor Granger. Back to Drake. Ball out on Pirates, Azel's 29 throwing it in at the 45 yard line. Weston with the ball, bringing it down. Good pass. Dogula fighting for that ball. Azel's ball, free kick. About 53 yard lines. That was a good kick though, straight down the middle.
corner kick for Azel. Believe that's 14 again. Looks like he's their main kicker. He must have the good leg for their team. And saved by the goalie. Subbing out Trevor Granger for, can't see who that is. Pirates weren't ready for that kick. They weren't. They were not spread out enough. Cranberry ball. Ethan Townsend throws it in. Azel's ball. Twenty nine throws it in. By the thirty five. They got a good fight going though. Azel kicks it out and Weston control for Granberries throwing it in. Nine thirty left in the first half and the score is two to one. Granberry up. Weston with the ball and Azel gets it. Free kick for the Pirates. Dogula was after that, but their goalie got it first. Ball out on Pirates. Fourteen with the throw in.
Gold cake for pirates. Out by Azel and Bumble by Granberry. Really fighting for the ball at the top of the box. Granberry's ball. Ethan with the ball, pushing it up. And Azel has control. Out on Azel. Throw straight to number 11. Free kick for Azel. Straight down into the left side of the box. Granberry with the ball. That was a good steal by number 11 for Granberry. Out on the Pirates, Azel's ball. Header by Ethan, and a good save by number 5 for Pirates. Pirates ball looks like they're subbing out number 10 for, I think that's number two, Pete. Ethan throws the ball in and Azel's got it. Ethan with the ball, pushing it up. Great kick by mine.
two minutes left in the first half, and Greenberry is up by one. Score is two to one against the Azel Hornets. Corner kick for Granberry by Pete, number two. Ryan was fighting for that one. Pass to Pete, let's see if he can score. Straight to the goalie. Header by Ethan, really fighting for that ball. P with the pass to number 11. Thirteen with the strong kick, but it's out of bounds. Azel lost control of that ball, so Granberry took that opportunity. Pirates ball straight to Pete. Weston with it. Let's see if he can. That's it for that sec for the first half. The score was. Two to one, and we will get back with you in about ten minutes.
All right, welcome back to Azel versus Granberry, Varsity Boys. Right now, Granberry takes the, the lead into the second half, two to one. Nice Ooh. save by Azel. Yeah, that was a really hard shot, too. Yeah. That would have been a good assist, though. Weston did a header, and then it went to Drake. No, that's not Drake. Yeah, it is. So talk to me about the first half, Katie. What, what did you see? What did you like? What did you not like? Um, Azel had some <clears throat> really good ball control. Like, yep. they're really good at, like, holding the ball until, like, someone's open. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was a good pass. That was a good, good through pass. ball. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that was a good save. Number 12. Yeah, I've noticed that, too. Azel is really good with the ball. Um, we saw the same thing last game with the girls. Uh, you know, they, they are very, very well coached program. Oh, yeah. Um, what and about, what about on our side of the ball? What did you see from Granberry from the first half? We had some really good passes. Like, honestly, like they were, they were pretty good at like connecting the ball with each other and like, you know, like they had, they had good ball control, but you know, Azel was just like, i saw it more I guess but they definitely they have uh Granberry has some good defense mm -hmm. you know what else I've noticed is is the size comparison between the players like, <laughs> yeah Granberry seems a lot bigger than well Azel. it's kind of like weary we have some ooh. <laughs> they just bonked heads yeah he'll be all right <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we have some really big kids, but then we also have some really small ones. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't see any, like, really big ones on their side. Like, no. they're mostly average. Yeah. And when you're going for those 50-50 balls, you know, that, that plays into it because, you oh, know, yeah. the smaller you are, the, the weaker you are. I mean, basically. Down to 37 and a half minutes left of the game here. Granberry is still up 2-1. Looks like a free kick for Azel. It's kind of a dangerous shot here. Be a good, good little cross. That's exactly what he does. Goalkeeper goes up, goes for it. Nice save. Just clears it out. Gets out of the danger. It's good. Um... Have you had a chance to look at any kind of formations or anything for the teams? Um, I mean, I have, but honestly, I haven't really like been looking at it. Like, I will too tell, hard. yeah, I will tell you that identifying what formation they're in in, in girls' play is a little bit easier because they're they're a little guys bit, are kind of all over the place. They're all over the place. They, they may just, have a role, but they they're, they go and to they're the quick. Ball. Yeah. Um, Which I feel like that is one thing that I saw a lot too is like. We were bunching up a lot, like, last half, and, it, like, it was at times where, like, it wasn't, you know, that bad, Yeah. but it was just, like, for certain passes, like, no one was open, because they were so bunched up together. Trevor Granger with the ball. Looks like there's someone hurt. Oh yeah, official timeout here. We have an injury, injury stoppage. Got the trainer out there, one of the coaches, walking him off the field. Looks like, looks like he's holding like a rib or. Maybe you got the wind knocked out of him. Probably. Got a sub coming in for him. That's number nine for Azel. So play will resume. They've added a, added a, a few, few more seconds back on the clock. We're at 36 minutes now, even. Greenberg with the ball.
good good movement down the sideline here. Number seven. Weston. Oh, good move. Let's see what he can do with his left foot here. Oh, good cross. Ah, Barely number 11, let it slip right through him. That was a good move. If he would have, if he would have controlled that, corralled that ball, that that would have been another goal. Would have been another. Would have been Weston's third assist for this, or the yeah, because he assisted with the first one. Because it was a missed shot, and then someone else got it, rebounded it. Trevor with the ball. You know, even though that Grenberry is up two to one. It doesn't seem like they're satisfied with that. Like they came out of this half and they're they're wanting to score again. Oh yeah. Which I think is a great mentality. I mean, if you if you always try to play safe. Well, that too. But the one thing that I do know is like I don't know about for the females, but the guys they have the they do man of the match. Mm. So whoever scores like. If you score a goal, you get to sign the ball. Oh, that's cool. And then, like, you get to keep it till the next game. Oh, nice. And so, like, whoever has the most signatures on the ball at the end of the season gets to keep it, and they're, like, the MVP. Right now, Weston has four balls, like, four signatures on the ball. And after this game, he'll probably get another one. Yeah, he, he had one of the goals, right? He had one, and then he helped with the first one, and he's had multiple, like... Assists that were attempted shots. Okay. Now, how are those uh, man of the match? Is that what it's called? Man of the match? Mm -hmm. how, how are those determined? Are they voted on? Is it the coach's decision? How is that picked? The coach's decision. Okay. Um, they post it on their Instagram every game day, too. Okay. So, they post their lineup, and um, on their story, they'll post whoever, like... It's a good move there. Center field. Ooh, a lot of push-in. <laughs> Um, they'll post on their story like whenever people make the goals, but by the end of the match, it's basically just whoever helped out the most, like kind of carried the team. Okay. I think that's a pretty good incentive. I wonder if the girls team has something like that. I'd assume so. Being in the media class, maybe that's something you could go find out. If you were to play soccer, where do you think you'd play? Offense, defense, goalie? Mm. The person they put in, like, in the last five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, I mean, I don't know. I feel like – honestly, I don't know. I was always a midfielder or a striker. I was always uh, the one running everywhere. And, you know, it was my job to control the pace and control the speed and all that. Some good little uh, individual battles here. Oh, yeah. Drake with the pass to Trevor. Azel kicked it right out. Got another sub here. Number four is coming out for Granberry. And number is that 25 coming in? Twenty five is fast. He has some speed. Missed header by number eleven.
Azel subbing 23 for... Looks like number 8 for Azel. Goalie with the save for Pirates. I guess that baseball thing that was going on earlier is maybe it was just practice. Scrimmage maybe? Oh, know. they left at the end of the last game. Yeah. But it was something more formal than just practice though. Because it was probably wearing... a practice match. Yeah. Now we got another injury here on the on the near side. Seems like they got some weak weak ones. <laughs> well, I will tell you that uh you know, there's strategy going into soccer matches. Soccer is very, very dramatic. <laughs> well, sometimes they're actual injuries, you know, and sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's an opportunity for the players to catch their breath. Sometimes it's an opportunity for the coach to talk to their players. Um, you know, it's, it is it is an official stoppage because of the injury. So the clock stops so they can kind of regain their their balance and everything. 14 does look like he's able to get up, though, uh, for Azel. He's limping off the field with the help of a couple teammates, 5 and 17. Well, now they're just carrying him. <laughs> so it is good news that he can put a little bit of weight on there. We'll have to keep an eye on that, see if 14 re-enters the game in a little bit. Maybe 14 was their kicker. So they just lost their best kicker. Yeah. Because he was the one that, like, did all the corner kicks. And, you know, he was, like, their main. I think he was a striker, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully he'll be okay and come back in the game in a little bit. Hazel's ball, and it's out of bounds again. <laughs> oh, it looks like there was a, a free kick. It wasn't out of bounds, so let's see what happens. Oh, good leg. Oh. Ooh. Good save. Good save. Who's that, 25? Yeah. Wow. He's tall. Yeah, that was a that was a good save. That could have very easily been poked right in. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, a high kick here. It's gonna go towards Azel. So it's the same guy with the leg. He maybe just tried to put it back in that same that same box. Trying to get his teammates to push up, to help out with his ball. That's one of their captains. You see the, the neon yellow armband on him. Yeah. Well, that was a good kick. Yeah, it was. And also a good save. Pete with the ball passes it to Drake. See if Drake score. Out of bounds. Seven out. Granberry's number eight for Pirates twenty one. Looks like keep 
Pete couldn't really keep his balance on that one. Looks like we got a free kick here. See what happens. So he just opts for a pass out to the left side. Nice little chip in the middle. Bounces right to the the keeper. Header by number six on Pirate. Azel's ball. Well, sub coming in. Ryan Davila subbing out for Drake. And Ethan subbing in for Pete. So we are coming up on 25 minutes left in the game here. Granbury Pirates still leading the Azel Hornets 2-1. to one. Um, Some bystanders over there almost got smacked right in the face with that ball. Oh, no. <laughs> if you sit that close to the field, you can't be on your phone. I'm just saying. Well, I in, there was a one game. Um, it was a tournament game and I went to... And it was, like, it was a non-district tourney, but it was in Castleberry. And mm -hmm. I, I was sitting, like, in the stands, but there was no, Ooh. there was Ooh. no gate in front of it. Uh-huh. And the ball came out of bounds. Well, it came straight to me. I kick it back in the, like, to the other player, like, to the player that's coming to get it. I kick it to him. But then as soon as, like, he, like, the ball gets to him, he gets on the concrete and he slides and goes straight in. So I get cleated right in my ankle. <coughs> <laughs> wow. And I had like three pairs of, I had like two sweatpants on and leggings and it still left a mark. Wow. So that, that says a lot. <laughs> that, that does say a lot, yeah. 25, subbed for 14, he's back in. Now I haven't coached soccer in Texas. Do you know if they're allowed to wear metal cleats? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just I don't think they're, they're allowed to. They're plastic? Yeah. It depends on where you're at. You know, it, it, when I lived in uh, Oklahoma and I coached up there, they could wear metal cleats, and it's a little different now. Ooh, Ethan good movement up, up here. Ball. Ooh. See if he saves out? it. Yeah. That's out. A little bit too far. That's what we were missing in the girls' game. Oh, yeah. You know, for the girls to be able to outrun the lady, lady Hornets. Uh, but we don't seem to have that issue with the boys. No, in our team, we have, like, Granberry, they're, they're a fast-paced team. Mm -hmm. Weston with the ball, and it's out. And over the fence. And over the fence, and through the woods. <laughs> But the clock keeps going. Oh, yeah. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. No, I mean, it's good for us at the moment. Yeah. Come on, Weston, take your time. It's one of those unofficial timeouts where everybody can kind of catch their breath, you know. Get where they need to be. It's like be. 30 seconds off the clock just by letting the ball roll away a little bit. Yeah. A little gamesmanship. Get inside the other team's head. Throw straight to Davila and back to Weston. He's a big guy. Oh, yeah. I feel like they need to push up on offense a little more. Yeah. Like they're staying back. Ooh, a little too far yeah. for that pass. So. We are coming down to 22 minutes now. You know, it is getting closer and closer to the end of the game here. I think we may be able to pull this one out. I say that, but then, you know, the last game we scored with four minutes left in the game. So I don't, I don't want to jinx anything. Mm -hmm. Would knock on wood, but I don't think we'll see over here some wood. I don't know if it's real, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best we're going to get. It looks like wood. So 
So one of the things that uh, I've noticed in some of the other stadiums that we play in, like Midlothian, uh, the Colleen Stadiums, uh, Lake Belton, um, like these, these stadiums that are the same size schools as ours, they have what's called a video board. And this video board is like a 30 foot wide screen. And it's all controlled by the students that are... <laughs> the... Fumble on the ground with Weston. Oh, they, they didn't call anything on that. No. Uh, so it's all controlled. That video board is all controlled by the students that are filming the games. Really? So, ideally, I is would it, love to have a video board because... Is it kind of like um, what's in James Wan? Like the... No. This is like what it looks like on YouTube would show up on the screen. Oh, really? Yeah. Like their screen is bigger than our whole scoreboard with the ads and everything over there. And, you know, we would do instant replay on it. We would, we would stream the game so people in the stands could see everything that's happening and what we're filming and, you know, the close-ups and all that. Uh, I think it, it would be great, uh, great for Granbury um, to see that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've really tried hard to, to build the Pirate Sports Network and try to build up the streaming. Yeah. And, of course, a video board is not cheap. No. Um, not by any means. But maybe in the future, you know, maybe it's something that we could look at and, you know, especially if we keep having people move to Granbury and we end up moving up from 5A to 6A, the, you know, the biggest district sizes in Texas, um, that would be, that would be really cool to add. Yeah, that would be. It would look cool on that side over there by that building or in that corner over there. Yeah, that um, would be good. I feel like it would look good right there, because one, you can see it from the press box, and like up here, and then yeah. it's not blocked by like the goal. Mm -hmm. So we are now under 20 minutes, halfway through this half. We are still up two to one. Um, you know, Azel is is trying to push the pace, trying to get it up into the into uh, scoring opportunity range. Uh, the Pirates. I don't know. I I, I kind of heard you mention it before, but. Seems like they're a little too conservative. Like they're not as aggressive, and mm -hmm. maybe they're just comfortable with a two-one lead. Um, but again, as a coach, I'd be much happier with a three-one lead. So maybe we can uh, maybe we can put another one in here. <coughs> yeah, and I mean like. They've had some pretty good opportunities. Like, they've definitely, they haven't had as many as the girls did. But I feel like if they get any more opportunities, like, they're going to be better if not made. Mm hmm And you know one of the biggest differences between the last game and this game is, like, the 50-50 balls. The balls that could go either way to either team. Like... We are more aggressive in this game oh, yeah. than the girls were in the last game. Well, we also have more, like, like we have bigger players. Like, no, yeah, but... I feel like the difference from the girls' game and this game is the girls' game, they didn't take, like, full charge. Like, for the guys' game, like, oh, that was a shove. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be a... That's all right. It's just a free kick. Because it happens in the box, though, it's it's given to the the keeper. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um. I think he didn't strike that one as well as he wanted to.
Trevor taking his sweet time. <laughs> yep. I mean, we see it all the time in basketball, right? Unless there's pressure or unless somebody's telling you to hurry up, take your time. Yep. Ooh, no that's a push. Uh-oh. See what happens here. This is going to be a, a free kick from the side. Um, the angle is kind of hard to make it from there. So what you probably are going to do is probably have a, a, a curve or maybe, okay, there's pressure on this outside guy. So probably just a little curve. Ooh, Ooh that was... Almost went in. No kidding. Um... So we got a corner kick here for the Pirates. Number 11's going for it. Yeah, so we have the same kind of strategy, right? We're going to try to curve it in or we're going to try to curve it a little higher. See a couple Pirates pointing up, put it up, and they can head it right in. There it is. Header right in, number 25. Yep. Oh, no, it wasn't 25. Who was that? 20? Oh, no, that was Trevor. Yeah, Granger. number four. Is that Uso? Yeah. Yeah, number four. Trevor Granger. Awesome. Fifteen fifty-three and it's three to one. Pirates up by two. Yeah. Now as a coach, you definitely feel a little bit better about the rest of the game. Now you complete a little bit more conservative. If they score one, it's not the end of the world. If they score two, then then like at least you're, you're, chew tied. you're chewing somebody out. <laughs> yeah, at least you're tied. But you know, if you have 15 minutes left and you had a two-point lead, one. yeah, you know, there's there's gonna be some upset people on the other uh, in the in the oh, locker room. Yeah. Oh, I coached uh, uh, Trevor's brother. In uh, at GMS last year, really? Yep. Played uh, football, basketball. I didn't coach him in basketball, but I, I did coach him in football. Um, pretty good athlete. Looks like they got Trevor some. Trevor uh, passed to Ethan, and the ball kind of just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> I think they overshot, like overlooked where it was gonna go. <laughs> Now is when the legs start feeling a little, you know, tired. People yeah. are a little bit or lazy. They rely on longer passes. Um, you know, so there, there's some some things to consider here, uh, especially from a coaching standpoint. You know, you don't you don't want tired legs out there, but you also don't want to put in people that are going to mess up the lead. Mm -hmm. um, but you also want to give people playing time. So, you know, there's... there's this little... is when they're really, like, relying on defense. Yeah. It looks like they got three or four people ready to go to sub in. The Pirates do. Uh, well, they just changed their mind. Maybe not. Maybe they just told them to stay warm. But we'll keep an eye on that. Um, number 14, who got injured earlier in the game, he's back on the field, so that's good to see. Yeah, I mentioned that whenever he got subbed yeah. out. Doesn't look like he's limping or anything. No, he would probably just like overstretch his knee because he was pointing at his knee. Yeah. It looks like he has a little wrap on it. Honestly, the like the they've been pretty good at like keeping it kind of midfield. Like it really uh -oh. looks like we got a yellow card here. Oh my gosh! Yep. From Trevor. Mm-hmm. So the, we've seen a couple times in the game where there was a call that went against him, and he's complained about it. So this this was a push in the back. It was pretty obvious. It was a push in the back. Yeah. And he complained about it, and the ref didn't like that. He had enough of complaining. So give him a yellow card, makes him sit out. Um, at least it wasn't a red. Oh, then yeah. Then he get kicked out, suspended for the next game. 
He's only out for five minutes right now, isn't he? Yeah. So. So he might be back in. Just needs to go out and cool down a little bit, or maybe not. Maybe they just leave him out, and you know, there's 13 minutes left. Uh, we're up three to one. You know, maybe we can hold yeah, on without him. He had one of the goals, so they might put him back in just. That's true. To see if he can get another one. That's true. But you notice since we scored that third one, we haven't been on that side of the field on offense very much. Yeah. You know, um, it's like the whole, the whole offense shifted into a different type of offense, maybe a different formation, maybe more defense, less offense, um, and just play defense for the next ten minutes and just hold on, and maybe that's what it is. You know. <clears throat> Starting to get a little uh, physical out there. Oh, yeah. So, but it's going both ways. You know, it's not one team against another. Like, they're... They're going back and forth. They're going back and forth. You know, there's probably some uh, some uh, teasing, taunting, you know, some verbal oh, stuff I, that's going yeah. on out there. <laughs> um, you know, we're not naive enough to think that everybody's out there playing nice. <laughs> so, you know, one team is winning and maybe teasing the other one. And the other team is losing and getting frustrated. So they, they may be, you know, trying to get a, a few shots in. So there's there's some there's some stuff going on, but you know, they're trying to get trying to get through the game. Down to eleven and a half minutes left. Again, we're just playing it safe. Just kick the ball out of bounds, waste time. I wonder what would happen if they just launched the ball over the fence, though. Like, <laughs> see if I could hit the baseball field. No you know, and, and then they have to go get the ball. Well, they have extra balls. Yeah, they do. But they Ooh. Oh, oh, turf oh they didn't call that. Uh-oh. We've got a shot here. Oh, little wide right, number seven. The ref ain't even sees on the ground yet. Looked like a, a no call there. Um, you know, in those in those 50-50 ball situations, the ref is only one person. He only has one angle. You know, he's not seeing who's running into who. Um, Davila just got subbed out for 17. I I would think that that would have been a penalty. You know, a free kick or something. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, He's just trying to let the kids play, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> 10 minutes and 31 seconds. We are at an injury timeout right now. Uh, Pirates are up 3-1 to one against the Azel Hornets. Seems like they've had a lot of injuries this game. Yeah. And, you know, with it being colder weather the last month or so, Athletes tend to not drink as much water because your body doesn't need as much water. And now being a relatively warmer night, you know, they're more dehydrated. They're more dehydrated. Cramps are more susceptible. You know, there, there, there are, there could be some things that happen. Um, yeah. Not to mention the pirates are just taking it to them. Oh yeah. Right. Like. They're really not holding back. They're not. They don't care that they're up three one. He's going to run him over. He's going to get the ball. He's going to go score another one. That was the mentality. So, you know. Um, we just hope that everybody can get through the game and not, not have any issues uh, with injuries or, or, you know, getting in trouble with, like, red cards and things like that. Yeah. Especially since this is Azel's first district game. You don't want them to... Start district on a bad note. No, but this will be a hard loss for them since this is their first district. Yeah. Which I was actually earlier I was talking about the the boys' last district game they played against Brewer. Mm-hmm. They ended up losing that one by one point. It was two to one. And Weston had scored that goal. So, number seven on our team scored that goal. So, it wasn't really... Brewers, uh, pretty good. Yeah. In all sports. Basketball, they're, they're up there. Yeah. Um, soccer, 
Uh, I don't know about football. We didn't play him in football. Um, but they got they got some uh, some athletes, man. Um, So there's another strategy. I don't know if you saw that or not. He picked up the ball and he was like, oh, let me just leave it here for you instead of him throwing it in. Yeah. So it's just another, you know, five, like two seconds more that's wasted. Mm -hmm. That's all we're doing now. It's just trying to run the clock out. We've got under 10 minutes left. For the most part, the ball has been midfield or Azel's uh, side on offense. Uh, we've had a, a few opportunities. Here's one right here, number 10. Ooh, getting physical in the corner. That could have been the call, though, like if you went on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer is a very physical sport. Oh, yeah. When it's like you have all these people running full speed at this ball. Yeah. And it's like you can't stop yourself. Like, it, even if you try, like, either you're going to go down or you're going to take someone down with you. Mm-hmm. Or you both go down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next chance, Azel gets uh, the ball on a stoppage of play. There's going to be a sub. Here they are. Okay, so there's a sub for Azel. Down to eight minutes. And you know they don't stop the clock for subs, mm -mm. so you got to get in, get out. We're rolling. So, um, you know, the longer they take to get off the field, the more time gets ticked off. Yeah, I mean we're at seven fifty right now. It's a very fluid game. You know, there's not a whole lot of this happens, then this happens. It's... It all kind of goes together. Uh, yeah. It's it's almost like watching, uh, like... Uh, well, those are barely mouse. Yeah. Um, it's almost like watching one of those uh, videos on YouTube that's like, uh, you know, those really satisfying videos um, that like, I don't know. People cut Play-Doh in things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's uh, because it's so like fluid. It's it's just back and forth and back and forth, and it, it's it's a very pretty game to watch. You know, it's completely opposite from like football, where it's like I'm going to destroy you and run you over. You know. Um, See, I've never been a football watcher. No. Mm -mm. It's I don't know. I just one I don't understand it. Oh, okay. Like, my family's just never been a football family, so, like, I've never been brought up on it. Yeah. So, like, I don't understand anything about it. I was a cheerleader, but okay. I don't know anything about football. <laughs> Only thing I can tell you is I'm more on offense or defense. So your sport is what? Basketball? Baseball. Baseball. And softball or just baseball? Baseball. Baseball. Okay. And basketball because I'm a manager, but... Well... It's like saying I'm a human and I have to like lettuce. <laughs> I mean, I, it's like okay, but it's not my favorite food. Yeah. It's okay. You can call me weird. <laughs> so we are under six minutes now. Five minutes, 45 seconds. Three to one still. Granbury up against the Azel Hornets. Uh, this is varsity, uh, varsity boys soccer. At Granbury High School. So you see how many defenders they have now. Like, we have a lot of defenders. There's a lot back there. Uh-oh. Getting into a pushing match here. <laughs> so. Kind of funny. Number 10, looks like, got the yellow card here. He's being taken out. And since we are under five minutes, he'll be done for the game. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Who was he nine. arguing with? Number nine? I thought it was 11. No, he was arguing with one. The coach is talking to him right now. Number 21 on our team. 21. He got taken out, too. Okay. He got subbed out. Didn't see any cards in the girls' game. Mm -mm. You know, it was very clean. But just in the last five minutes, we've had two yellow cards. Number four launches it towards the goal here. That was a good kick. That was a good kick. Looked like for a second that the goalie was going to... Oh, yeah, under, it almost like, tipped his hand. Yeah, I thought for sure he, he overestimated that. Oh, well, that wasn't very far. No. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, there was no one up there. No. That's all right. See, he passed it back. He can't pick it up if he passes it to his own teammate there. Yeah. So, pretty good. Pretty good uh, ball movement. Oh, number 11 went down, holding his leg. His ankle. He probably rolled it. Yeah. Another official timeout. Injury timeout. 334, number 11 is down for Azel. Don't know if it's an ankle or a calf. I think uh, he was holding his ankle. Yeah, maybe when he went up, he landed on somebody's... Landed on somebody's. Uh, oh yeah, you can foot. tell he like rolled it, like rolled it over. Yeah. Which he like just got put in the game too. Well, that's the that's the downside of sports. You know, you never know when it's going to happen. You know, the percentage of of high school athletes that make it professional and make millions of dollars is very small, in every sport. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's a lot of it has to do with injuries. Um, a lot of it has to do with the right time, right place, grown up in the right atmosphere. You know, depending on how long you play, all kinds of stuff. And that's something that we kind of talked about in the last game with, uh, you know, growing up playing sports. Like a lot of these high school kids have played for 10 years already, right? Yeah. And, so that's great while well, they have experience, but how much how much strain does that put on the body when you're growing and your muscles aren't fully developed and and all of that and so you know we see so many high school kids that tear an ACL or something that shouldn't even be a thing until like college or professional yeah. um, but because everything has been so escalated with AAU sports and club teams and Pee Wee football and soccer and so it's like know, a lot of these travel kids, teams. A lot of these kids on this soccer team, like they don't just play for the school, like they play club. Yeah, and it, and, yeah, and that's and that's another thing. And those seasons are usually the same time, so you know they practice the same. So they have multiple games in a, in a week. They it, it's. It, it's a lot for a And I mean, some club teams, they're good about, like, the school sports, too. Like, they try to not match it up with important games. Oh. What happened? Well, it looks like number 19 got a yellow card. 19 on ours or theirs? On ours. And then it looked like he kept talking, and then he gave him the red card. Well, that might have been number six that got the red card. I'm not sure. But somebody got a red card. <laughs> so we got we had, two kids out. Well, we just had two get subbed out. Uh, there was a yellow and a red. Um, but I'm not sure if it was the who same. the call was on. And, that, and that's kind of uh, hard as a commentator up here. Yeah. Right? Because we we don't have audio down there. So we don't know. And in a soccer scrum like that, when there's like 10 people surrounding you and he's holding up a card, okay, well, it could have been anybody. You know, yeah. we, we just try to read body language and try to see who who is that? Who, the, who was the call on, you know? Um, ideally, we would have a microphone on the referee and we'd be able to hear it. But maybe in the future. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, game continues. We have two two minutes left. Two minutes and six seconds. Pirates kicking off at a, a 
goal kick here. Still leading three to one. At this point, we just hope that nobody else gets in trouble. Yeah. There's been a lot of cards, and they've been injured a lot, and there's just a lot going on, you know. And and I think we hope that the coaches at the end of the game keep their players like keep their heads on, because the worst thing that could happen is, you know, there's a, a scuffle or something at the end of the game because somebody didn't agree with how they played or they're upset that they lost or, you know, something like that. So we hope that everybody's going to be good. Down to a minute and 15 here. We have lots of defenders back there. It looks like we're only playing with, well, we have zero offensive players. We have two, three midfielders, and the rest are on defense. So... If this is if they're gonna score, they're gonna they're gonna really make them score. Um, coming up on forty seconds left of the game here. Which is weird because they took number seven. They took Weston out, which he was the striker for ours. Looks like they have a free kick here. Um, trying to slow the game down a little bit by, you know, kicking the ball random places. Number four, looks like he's going to try for the goal here. Uh, it's not a good... Looks like he tried to pass it there. Um, went into the side of the left, goal, uh, left, left side of the goal. He's going to hold that ball for about three seconds. Yep. All right, and that, that is the end of the game. That wraps it up. Pirates won 3-1 to one against Azel Hornets. I appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, I'm Adam O'Hanlon, the AV teacher. And I'm Katie Jackson with Pirate Media. Peace out, Pirates.